how's, uh, how's Teddy look? Is he getting closer to where you want him to be physically? Yeah, I think Teddy's um, – Teddy's uh, healthy, just you know, just you know, playing football for the first time in a long time. So he's he's working. I think he's done a nice job this week, and um, he could he could see some action. What have you seen from the receivers this week, especially the young ones trying to crack into the rotation with uh, Isaiah being out for receiver? Yeah, I think Malachi's done a really nice job. Um, Malachi's uh, really um, uh, took a step this week, which I think we needed, and I'm um, excited for him. Josh Fleeks, I thought, had a good week. You know, as an older guy who's played a lot of football for me in the past. Um, he's definitely a playmaker, so we hopefully utilize him. And then I think Jalen's coming along, so um, you know we have uh, we have a group of guys that can all really run. So just uh, just gotta get him in the game. I think those guys see see the opportunity. Those young receivers, or even a guy like Cleese, who's, who's experienced, like just this the fact that Isaiah is out, um, you know, do something mentally for them. Yeah, I, I can't speak for them. I just you know, I hope so. You know, I certainly hope that they they recognize that a it's an opportunity for them, but more importantly, the team's counting on them. You know, and uh, but all of this is a process, right? Um, all of this is it's really hard to be a young player and come in and play uh, right away. So um, you know, we don't have many true freshmen playing that weren't here in the winter. So um, you know, they they're coming along, and you know, as Coach Paterno used to say, it's better a play too late than a play too early. Some of these guys were working overtime to get them ready. So uh, well, thank you. Thank you. He knows I like a cup of coffee when I talk to you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Coach said was talking yesterday about the importance of, you know, it seems simple, but getting the ball to the guys who can make plays. And, you know, what are the, the challenge, some of the challenges of that when you had just, what, 59 offensive snaps um, in the first game? And, um, you know, how do you do that when, there's, when there are less opportunities? You know, you're not snapping 70 to 80 times a game. What kind of stuff can you do? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're still living in. It's like uh, we're living in amongst construction. You know, I think I think a number one, we have to have more plays than that. You know, so you know, only three drives in the first half. Some of it being the new clock rules, um, but you know, a lot of it just being kind of the flow of the game early. And I think that's when you see college football. You know, even like even the game, the great game versus TCU and. Um, uh, Colorado. I mean, it was 14-14 and 14-17. Ended up 48-40. So a lot of scoring is going to happen in the second halves, right? As teams kind of get into a rhythm. So um, I think for us, it's converting third downs, not turning the ball over. When you have four turnovers, you're going to have less plays, obviously. And then on defense, I've challenged those guys to be good on third down. I mean, um, you look at you look at what Colorado did in the last game. I think they were five for five touchdowns in the red zone, and they won third down. So we have to be good on third down defense. We have to try to take the ball away. Uh, Shador, Shador did a great job protecting the football. Yeah, I, I have no concerns about our guys ever responding. I think, um, you know, as I talked about, you know, the 2021, 2022, there's some times with some tough losses where they didn't respond great. I never worry about that with this group. Um, that is the challenge, you know. And then once you get to the game this week, it's, we're going to have to respond. We're going to have to respond to their tempo, you know, the early surge of the game. We're going to have to respond to, you know, it's going to be an electric environment, all the things around the game. But, you know, once the game starts, it's really about what happens in between the white lines. And uh, we got a lot of guys who played a lot of football. You know, we've got guys who played Ohio State and Michigan and Georgia and Alabama and, you know, um, Penn State. And so we played a lot of big football games here at Nebraska. So this is another one. You know, this is a, this is a great game. And um, I'm hoping that our guys respond both. They have all week, but they respond in the game to the, you know, the highs and lows that come. Matt, you said earlier that this week you wanted to keep it about the football. How has your team done in terms of, I guess, blocking out some of the hype and the noise? Because it seems like it's really built over the course of the season. Yeah, I start the season off by, you know, I, every year I delete Twitter and Instagram, um, and I just kind of live my life old school. I, you know, if I want to get the news, I read the, the paper. You guys all do a great job, by the way. Um, so, um, uh, but the players don't. So, you know, I haven't seen them in any way. You know, we don't talk about those things. We, nothing about this game for us is anything other than football. It's a great opportunity versus a great opponent. Um, that's me. That's the coaching staff. You know, the players, they've been very focused. They've been very locked in. Our practices have been really, really hard. You know, they've been really, really hard. And uh, I think our guys have responded really well. When you have a situation like Ty Robinson being out for the first half, does that change how you practice reps-wise through the week? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a great, great question. Like, um, you know, Ty ran some with the ones, some with the twos. The way we kind of alternate, we, everyone gets equal reps. So, um, you know, we've always kind of looked at Cam and Blaze as co-starters. Well, now it's Cam and Blaze will start. Ty will wait for his opportunity and then rotate in. Um, so, um, like when we did two-minute, you know, Ty was out there with the ones because we assumed two minutes going to happen at the end of the game. You know, obviously it could happen at the end of the half. 
But you know, Ty, Ty, uh, you know, Ty, Ty got a good week of practice in. Do you think you know you kind of talked about how you're not worried about this team responding to adversity? Do you think the difficulty of the winter and the spring kind of prepared your team for, for those challenges throughout the season? Yeah, I, th I think it's in their nature. In that, um, yeah, I think you saw that last year. They, you know, once you know, once kind of you know, Coach Frost was let go, and you saw them just battle back each week. I think it's in their nature. There's so many guys here that are true Cornhusker men that want you know want this program to be great, and they're just built on grittiness. Um, you know, we're not a super flashy organization. We're kind of a gritty, tough. We want to be a gritty, tough. That's our identity. Gritty, tough. You know, organization. Um, but. We've asked them to do a lot of really hard things. You know, I, I, had, to, I had one of the, our starters, you know, I kind of try to meet with some guys on Wednesday and visit with them. And I had one guy say to me like this, since, since the time we started in January till now, it's the hardest thing he's ever done in his life. And uh, he was saying that in a grateful manner, like, man, you know, if you do this for, you know, look at the freshmen, if they do this for three or four years, how good they'll be. And so um, I think we've built some resilience, uh, resiliency within the program. Um, but that all comes from the players. You know, we've given them hard things to do and they've, they've crushed it. Yeah, you know, I think the big thing for us is, like, it's an 11.05 kick for us, right? Like, the old days, I would have kept all the times the same. Um, you can't do that anymore because everyone's cell phone, you know, adjusts. But, you know, when we were at Coach Coughlin and we went to the West Coast, everything stayed on East Coast time. So we never panicked about, oh, my gosh, it's this. So um, we'll probably get to the stadium 15 minutes later, you know, instead of getting we, – most people get there two hours before. We get there two and a half, two, two 15. We'll probably get there two hours before. Um, it's a little bit of a trip from the hotel. Um, but nothing's really different, you know. Nothing's really different. Um, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go see a movie tomorrow night as a team. We're gonna practice tomorrow morning. We're gonna meet. We're gonna go there. We're gonna fellowship. We're gonna get up. We're gonna do our little neuro charge and go to the game and play. So, um, fortunately for us, it's not a super long flight. And uh, fortunately for us, um, that time zone, even though it's ten o'clock, it's really eleven. It's eleven o five for us, which, you know, the hardest period in practice for us on Tuesday. We do a we do a two huddle drill. That's I mean, it's as tough as anything you've ever done. <laughs> and we did that right at 11.05. And I, you know, I'd love to say on purpose, but not really. And the guys kind of recognize that, like, hey, you know, it's 11.05. We practice in the mornings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But we should be ready for an early kick. How did the week kind of go for guys like Jamari and Nick? Yeah, Jamari, Jamari and Nick are up. They're ready to play. So Jamari and Nick are up. Great news for us. Um, Jamari and Nick are up. Teddy's up. So anything, anything beyond that will all just be like a coaching decision. Uh, those guys are in shape. I'll be honest with you. Our our medical staff, our um, you know uh, Dr. Matisson, you know our um, training room staff. You know we hired Chris Peduzzi this off season, who was with the Eagles for a long time, along with Drew Hamlin, who's been here and um, returned to play, and all those guys. Like we're pretty, they're pretty elite. So the guys come back, they're in really good shape. So Jamari's full go. Is there a big travel roster change between conference and non-conference? Yeah, we're allowed 74 non-conference. Excuse me, 74 in conference. I think we're taking like 77 or 78 in the conference game. You know, I'm not a big, like, I don't like to take people just to take them. But, um, you know, on special teams, there's some guys that are really emerging, which is great. And usually you need those guys to emerge because as you have injuries, you, re you replace those guys with, you know. But, you know, um, we haven't had a lot, which is great too. So, you know, the Tavion Thompsons, the Elliott Browns, the um, – um, uh, Br uh, Braden Clovers, there's more, so forgive me, but all those guys are doing such a great job for us that they're coming along and, and they could help us on teams. And, you know, again, in the altitude, you know, Coach Osmer came, talked to me about the game the other day. Obviously, the altitude will be a factor. We're going to play a lot of guys. Gabe, uh, you know, had eight guards to carry, but only, you know, seven rushes. With the nature of this game, do you anticipate maybe getting him the ball a little bit more? Um, we'll see. I mean, I think anytime someone has eight yards of carry, they should touch the ball more. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like it's, you know, they, they should. It had a great long run. So we'll see how the game goes. You know, um, um, a lot, you know, large part of this is, you know, uh, if they're going to score 45, then it might alter how we play. If our defense, you know, plays well the way we, we think we're capable of, you know, keep it a close game, then we can maybe run the ball a little more. But, um, uh, you know, I think Gabe's a factor. Ramirez a factor. Those guys have to play really well for us. You know, they think they had explosive plays in the last game, one on the kickoff return, one running that allowed us to get going. So I'm hoping we start with a little more rhythm than we did the last game. Um, but no matter how we start, you know, we're going we're gonna to think about the last five minutes of last game and how we can improve that in, in this game.